We've been talking about Camtasia, a powerful and relatively inexpensive tool that you can use to create simple interactive videos. If you missed my tutorial on how to do this with Camtasia Hotspots, you can check out that video here. In this video, I'll show you how to export your file with the TechSmith Smart Player so you can be sure your interactive elements work. Hi there, it's Kimberly Go, bringing you tips and tools to take interactive video to the next level. Camtasia is a great tool for creating simple interactive videos, especially if you don't need to keep track of scores or variables. When you're ready to publish, you'll need to export your file to Screencast, which we covered in the last video, or you can export the file with the Smart Player. Let's dive right in. If you're not using Screencast to export your Camtasia interactive video, you'll need to export it as a local file with the TechSmith Smart Player. First I'll show you how to do this on a Mac, and later we'll cover how to do it on a PC. Keep in mind that TechSmith is continually improving and upgrading Camtasia software, so it's possible your screen might look a bit different than what you see in this demo. If you have any difficulty getting this to work, see the show notes below for additional hints. I've just finished editing my interactive video in Camtasia on my Mac. Now I'm ready to export the file with the Smart Player so the interactive elements such as hotspots will work. First make sure you've saved your Camtasia project since this will also be the name of your export. Click this export button and choose local file. You'll export it as an mp4 file and then you'll also need to check mark this box to export it as a web page. Choose the location on your computer where you want to export the file. In this case I'll choose to export the file to my desktop. Once it's done exporting, you should see the folder appear on your computer. This folder will contain the Smart Player files together with the media files for your interactive video. You'll upload this entire folder to your website using FTP or whatever method you normally use for uploads. On a PC, the procedure is a little bit different. Save your Camtasia project with the file name you want to use. Click the Export button, then choose Local File. Select MP4 with Smart Player and choose the size of the project you want to create. If you choose custom production settings, you'll have more options for customizing your output. When it asks you how you would like to produce your video, choose MP4 Smart Player. Choose Produce with Controller and then also choose Use Hosted Smart Player Files. This will ensure that your Smart Player is always up to date. Then upload the exported folder to your website. If you're not familiar with File Transfer Protocol, or FTP, you might want to use Google Cloud Console. You can use this tool to host all of your e-learning modules, then generate public links that you can add to emails, documents, or to your website. I'll discuss Google Cloud Console in a future video. I wanted to mention one other resource. Camtasia also has an optional maintenance agreement that will give you a free upgrade to the next version of Camtasia, priority technical support, and an excellent Camtasia certification course you can use to sharpen your video editing skills. So that's how you export a Camtasia interactive video with the Smart Player. If you'd like to test drive all of Camtasia's features, click the link in the show notes below for a free 30-day trial of this powerful tool. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button. And be sure to subscribe to get more content like this. To learn more about different software platforms that you can use for interactive video development, check out this video next.